If you're buying things like CDs or government bonds, you also need to be thinking about what you believe interest rates are going to do in the future. Because obviously, if rates are going to keep going up like they have been here in 2022, well, then you want to own short maturity instruments so that they're constantly maturing and you can reinvest those at higher rates. But if interest rates are going to fall, then you want to lock in these high rates for as long as you possibly can. Unfortunately, most people just don't know. I mean, there frankly is no one that can predict this stuff consistently. So today I want to give you a strategy known as barbelling that kind of plays both sides of this coin. Stick around. Now to emphasize the risk posed by changing interest rates, I want to direct your attention to this graph up here. This is called the yield curve. I don't want to get too into the too far into the investment jargon, but it's basically just a plot of where interest rates were a year ago versus where they are today. And you can see that in the black line. So here's where short term rates were for a one month maturity, three month maturity, six month, et cetera, one year ago plotted in this black line. Take a look at where rates were for one year government bonds. 12 months ago, they were at 0.18%, okay? That's in contrast to where they are today, which is plotted in this blue line, 4.77%. So this represents an over 26 fold change in interest rates on one year maturities in just 12 months. So my point here is interest rates can move dramatically in relatively short periods of time. And I wanna to talk to you about this concept known as barbelling, which is a strategy to kind of protect yourself against these big moves. So let's talk about barbelling. And if you're having a tough time visualizing this, I'll throw an image up on the screen. Think about what a barbell looks like. And we're talking about an exercise barbell. You have weights on either end with nothing in the middle. And that's, a metaphor for an investment strategy that seeks to balance risk by investing at the extreme ends of the continuum of virtually any asset class. But let's just say we're talking about CDs. We're talking about investing in very short-term CDs on one side and investing in very long-term CDs on the other. Now, let's reference back to Fidelity's fixed income page showing where interest rates are today. I'm recording this November 29th, and these are live numbers are updating every 15 minutes, but here are Fidelity's brokered CDs and you can see where rates are for the various maturities. And again, today I'm talking about this barbelling strategy uh, as a way to protect against both rising interest rates and falling interest rates because no one knows precisely where rates are gonna go. If we think rates are gonna fall, we're, we're gonna wanna lock in this 4.9% on the long end, but at the same time, if we think rates are gonna go up significantly, we're gonna to wanna to own shorter maturities so we can reinvest as rates ratchet up. And we're getting conflicting signals. The bond market right now, there's certain measures that can uh, suggest where the market thinks rates are gonna be in the future. And frankly, the market is suggesting rates are gonna be falling. But on the flip side, literally within the last 24 hours of me recording this, we have officials uh, from the Federal Reserve saying interest rates are going higher than the market thinks. So we don't know as investors and thus this approach to barbelling, that is buying uh, CDs on the extremes is a way to hedge out this exposure or to try to protect ourselves in both ways. So for example, if let's say you had $100,000 and you wanted to try to capture the best average yield in both cases, whether or not rates go up or down, well, you could easily just split that by purchasing $50,000 of five-year CDs and $50,000 of three month, six month, nine month, whatever you, know, you so choose, whatever you think is the most appropriate rate. My point is, this is an effective approach because if rates were to dive, well, at least half of the CDs you purchase are gonna be locked in for five years at this very attractive 4.9%. But on the flip side, if rates were to say skyrocket, let's say inflation stays hot and the Fed really ratchets up and all of a sudden short-term rates approach 6%, well, at least with half of your dollars, they're gonna be regularly maturing and you could reinvest those at those higher rates. Now, the last thing I wanna mention here, I'm gonna kinda of tease a video that I'm working on. 
You can see in the table the difference between CDs and US government bonds. There's actually a difference in the rates, despite them both being guaranteed ultimately by the federal government. So you might scratch your head and say, why would anybody ever buy a uh, two-year US Treasury when they can buy a two-year CD at 0.35% higher? Well, there is a difference and it has to do with taxes. So if you're curious about that, make sure you subscribe so you can see that next video that's in the works. Look, as always, I wanna say thanks for watching. Who would have ever guessed there'd be so much to know about something as mundane as CDs? Well, I'll tell you what, there's more to come, so I hope we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.